So in this video, we're going to go through how to bring in a 2D floor plan that is a CAD file or a DWG file and bring it into SketchUp so we can start to make a three-dimensional kind of floor plan or three-dimensional model of the design. So let's get started. So first things first, we need to go to File and click Import and choose the DWG file that we actually want to import. So I'm going to choose this one and it is a good practice to click on options and because this is just a 2D drawing the only thing you want to double check is that the units are going to be the same. So this is a you know feet and inches file and I'm bringing it into a feet and inches um, SketchUp file. Click import, click close, and lo and behold we have the drawing. Now, when you import the, the drawing, it imports as kind of a group of lines. So if I you know, click move, I can move this around. Now, to make this into editable lines where I can actually kind of play around with it, I would suggest just right clicking and exploding. Then you can see that you know things like doors and these windows that are blocks in the CAD file, those remain as groups here, but the individual lines of say walls those actually are now individual lines we can play with. Now, the best part of bringing in a DWG file is that you don't actually have to do a lot of cleanup in the DWG file itself. If it's an organized file, basically you can then import it and all of the layers for that file convert to tags in SketchUp and you can turn off tags that you don't need as you're kind of working within the model. So for example, I mean, the doors themselves are really helpful, but I don't need the, the swing in my 3D model because it would be weird if that was visible on the ground. So I'm going to turn off all the door layers and turn off all the window layers. And so I'm left with a really clean and simple, basically just the walls of our floor plan. So now how do we make these into surfaces really quickly that we can then pull up? So I'm just going to go into my rectangle tool and draw one rectangle from this corner all the way to this corner. And that has made almost everything into a surface. Looks like we missed out this little guy here. So I just added another rectangle, delete that line, and we should be able to make it all work. All right, so now we have some surfaces that we can then play with. Now, what I would suggest is just delete the floor because that way you're only going to deal with the, the walls from now on because once you get into the modeling process, the, you'll have you know different groups or different components and different surfaces and different all these different kind of aspects of the model. So I'm just going to keep it as just the walls for now. Now, there will be a lot more to do in terms of adding in doors and windows, but just to get started, let's do the push-pull tool to bring up these walls where they become three-dimensional. So P for the push-pull tool, and let's just bring up one wall, say 12 feet, and now what we can do is just double-click all the other walls, and they get brought up the same amount, unless you accidentally single-click, and then you have to go back and check, fix it. But otherwise, really quickly, you're able to take all of the information from a CAD file, bring it into SketchUp, and really start to make a you know detailed three-dimensional model based off the drawing without a whole lot of extra work because you're just relying on that CAD information that has been imported. So I hope that helps. Mm -hmm. 